now. Welcome to To The Rescue, authentic networking video cast. I am Nicole Williams, along with my co-host, Don Evans Casey and Jennifer Johnson. How are you today, Jennifer? I'm good. I'm sure Don is too. We kind of put her in the corner and let her just wait until her turn, don't we? <laughs> she's just a nice quiet lady and she looks really pretty there and matches your couch and everything but you know what today we have a really special guest um and she is very very busy this is natasha elford crazy oh, yeah. clean unlimited service she's the owner of crazy clean unlimited services and she's been a member of ttr for a little while so we're excited that she could join us um, Nicole, or not Nicole, Natasha, how are you? Doing well? I'm doing well. Thank you Good. guys for having me. We're very happy to have you. We always start out by just saying, please tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, and how the state of this COVID thing has maybe affected your business, or maybe it hasn't. I mean, but the floor is yours, and we're glad you're here. So take it away. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Natasha Alford, and I am owner and partner of Crazy Clean Unlimited Services. It is a residential and commercial cleaning business, and we specialize in basic, routine, and deep cleanings. We also do emergency uh, sanitations, um, and we currently are extended also to constructive cleaning as well. Um, and I am just a little bit about myself. Um, I am an IEPY graduate. I got my bachelor's degree in management. Um, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So this is my first uh, business. So it's very special to me. And uh, currently right now, um, I, do all, I do work uh, full-time uh, for the government. Uh, so currently right now I am uh, managing and working the business and also uh, working full-time. And in the state of COVID-19 uh, pandemic, it actually has, it hurt me a little bit in the beginning with some of my clients in 2020 because everyone shut down because everyone didn't know what it was and everyone was kind of scared. Um, but a few months into 2020, I say about April, May, business started picking up because people needed to get deep cleans in their offices and homes and everything within that nature. So right now um, it's, it's pretty steady. Um, but I'm picking up business due to marketing and advertising. So uh, that's just a little bit about myself. Wow. Well, that's, that's, you were, I didn't know you had a full-time job besides your, oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> and there are people out there yeah. who don't know what to do with their themselves. I'm like, talk to Natasha. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> she's lady. Take it away, Nicole. Well, we are so glad that you are here, Natasha. And um, so our show is all about authenticity. And we were wondering what authenticity means to you and your business. Um, when I think of, when I think of uh, authentic, the first few words that come to my mind is originality, mm -hmm. um, local, um, hard work. Mm -hmm. um, and there's always a story. There's always like that personal story that comes with um, uh, that originality as well. So how that kind of runs into my business is I'm very personable. Um, I, like, I like to connect um, with a lot of my clients um, and that can just be being positive, um, having a positive attitude um, and everything within that nature and also customer service and giving everyone that efficiency, that professionalism, um, just that a whole warm and also professional experience that I feel like everyone, you know, everyone should, everyone deserves. And, you know, every time I do a clean, I want someone to think of me like, oh man, she's nice. And she, she was on time. She did a great job. Mm -hmm. She cleaned more than what I thought she was gonna clean. I'm a tipper wild, you know, yeah. things like that. So awesome. <laughs> You know, those are the things that I just kind of, you know, I, I, I want to, I want to leave that, that mark with everyone that, that I come across. What do, what do they call that ladies when they say under, under promise and over deliver or something oh, like that? Yeah, that's I like that. What, well, that's kind of yeah. what I was thinking when she just said that, not that mm -hmm. you, you always want to present yourself in the best light, but you want your work especially when you're cleaning like that. I mean, that's a job that you don't do a good job. 
people know it, you know, and that mm-hmm. you, you need to do, you know. So when you said that, I'm like, oh, she's nice. She's on time. She did more than I expected. So under promise and over deliver, I think is a, that's a great one. That's a great one for authentic. Authentic. It is. Don, or, or is it Nicole? Who's next? No, it's Don. Thank Don? you. Thank okay. you, Natasha. Yeah. Cool. Well, Natasha, welcome to the show. Um, Thank you. I've had the opportunity to know Natasha for years uh, and know her family as well. So um, I have a firsthand experience with uh, her and her character and her her family background. I know that she has had uh, excellent uh, training and experience in the in the in the cleaning realm. So um, I, I want to ask you, Natasha. You sound like your day is full, a full-time job, um, nurturing an entrepreneurial endeavor that is something that you're, you're really committed to as well. How do you, in, in that very busy schedule of yours, how do you reach out, find clientele, find prospective uh, customers, and communicate what you have to offer to the world. How do you do it? Um, Prioritizing and time management, things that I was once weak at, but I had put that on my list of making them strengths and finding different ways to um, make them consistent. So that comes to writing a list down. I don't know if you guys can see in the background, I have a dry oh, erase board in my, in my room. Uh, so, you know, uh, making sure things are visual around me. Um, mm-hmm. Alarm clocks on, on my phone, yeah. reminders <laughs> on my phone, and um, having a mentor coach, having a support group, TTR Networking, um, having a, a, a great support system outside of TTR Networking, which is my family and friends. Um, I also have... Um, a a business associate that I meet up with actually two of them every couple months so I say not only that organizing you know on paper using your electronics but creating a community a personal community for yourself because I highly I highly believe that success does not come by yourself it comes with a village it comes with people who believe in you people who will check on you and uh, that accountability. Uh, So just wrapping it up like with visual, electronic, and having, you know, either a business coach, some type of mentor, some type of therapist, and uh, business associates and a support group. I mean, I know that's probably a lot, but without those things, um, I just want to be as far as I am today. She's making, I'm writing down notes all over. I've got like five different notebooks. Oh, that was a good point. Oh, that was a good point. I got to put that one down. We need to hear her. She needs to be in our group so she can encourage everybody. She's talking about accountability and mentors. And it's like, oh my God, you are so awesome. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm lucky to have her in my group. So. Yes, you are. You are very, well, I've known that since she joined our group. So <laughs> find more people like Natasha that are driven to do what she does, all the work. I didn't even realize all the stuff that you got in your day. So thank you for, for uh, being part of what we're doing. Well, you know, one of the questions, I, I kind of wrap it all together. It sounds, I, I think I know because it sounds like Dawn was your connection to TTR. Um, and maybe you can tell us what was attractive about TTR, because I know you get to visit a little bit and we don't want anybody saying anything that isn't true. I know you were visiting Don's group, so I probably already know why you, why you joined. But um, And then if there was any stories or anything that you could share about it, I know um, this COVID world has made it kind of difficult, although there is a need for people who can go in and clean too. I mean, and do the mm-hmm. kind of work you do. So mm-hmm. we're going to give you the floor. You just kind of tell us how you found us and all that kind of stuff. And then any stories that came out of it. Well, it's, it's something wonderful called word of mouth. So <laughs> we all know when someone um, c- talks to you, uh, if, you, if you're uh, presenting some type of issue or something that you're interested in, you know, that word of mouth strategy really works. And especially if it's someone someone that you trust, 
And uh, Don has been someone very close to me uh, since I was little. So, you know, a lot of things that she say, uh, I, I will follow and I will trust in her that she will direct me, you know, in a, in a positive way and um, anything that builds to my success, I, I believe that she will do that for me. So, you know, it was just one of those things. I told her what I was doing. I, I always do my updates with um, all the people in my support group, my family. And I'm like, you know, I gave her my update and she was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, she just kind of presented the group to me um, when she found out that I was starting this business and um, she really felt like it was an opportunity for me to grow. And it took me a while to actually get to the group because I, it was 2020 and COVID and mm -hmm. everything within that nature. But I, when I finally came, I thought I, to myself, this is something that I need. So um, that's, that's, that's how I got to TTR networking. And uh, once I found out um, uh, the positive effects it was taking you know, towards my uh, business, um, that's when I really committed to say, okay, this is something that I want to invest in. So, yes. <laughs> well, and you know what? You, um, I, I'm just going to continue, even though she probably wouldn't say it, ladies. I know that Dawn knows this, but she um, she is committed to doing one-to-ones with everybody. And, um, you know, we're all thinking all the time. I'm on most of Dawn's calls. Try to be on everybody's calls, but I can't do it all the time because we've got a lot of groups. But um, but, you know, Natasha has made a concerted effort to say, I'm going to do a one-to-one -one with everybody. I've got to schedule it. And it's not about, hey, can Natasha, is Natasha selling to them? She wants to know how can she help them? How can she be mm -hmm. of service? And that's really, I think, bottom line, if you're serving, the other stuff will come to you. So, um, you know, I don't know. I, I know Natasha, you've been, you've been with the group for a little bit, but, um, you know, it takes, and this is a hard time. I mean, people either really need you to come in and do a deep clean, or they probably are a little bit, a little bit, uh, are they, are you, I'm asking a question out of order, ladies. I'm not even asking questions okay. on my list, but <laughs> Natasha, are you getting a lot? Well, you said you got a call last night or something. You had a job to do this morning, right? So. Yes. Yeah, so it was, it was really last minute. It was like almost nine o'clock and someone said, Hey, I really need this done. I have a showing, uh, oh. Sunday, uh, Sunday eve or Sunday, I think it was five o'clock today. Uh, so they had a showing and it was like an unexpected showing. So I came in and me and my partner, we did our thing and we were able to uh, get a deep clean. She gave us, gave it, she uh, even gave us a tip as well. A nice tip. Uh, so it's just one of those things is uh, with cleaning is a little hard, um, especially when you first start out, because you'll have um, phases uh, where you're ex like you're extremely busy and you're getting I mean, you're getting calls, uh, you're getting texts, you're getting inquiries and you just can't do it. And unfortunately, I, I denied a lot of clients in 2020 just because of my time schedule. Um, and also I had to, you know, um, in, in, I, I don't want to reject business, but sometimes, you know, the time I can't do it all. So, um, but so when I do have the time and someone calls and they need that service, I'm, I got to do my job. So <laughs> yeah. I try my best to get there. Yeah. You're obviously doing something right. Well, ladies, like I said, I took it out of order. Who's next? <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah. Um, I just want to add something before I go into my next question, but sure. um, something that's that's really wonderful. This is uh, Natasha has always wanted to be an entrepreneur, and this is her first endeavor, um, which I wanted to point out for the listeners. You know, the networking groups are great for people who have been in business and are looking to expand their a uh, circle of influence, and for people who are new to, uh, to business and looking to kind of learn and find out what's going on. And Natasha has been in an active and integral uh, part of our networking group from day one that she started attending the meetings, asking questions, sharing her experiences. So it doesn't matter if you've been in business for years, and you're just looking to make new contacts 
or you're new to business and you know looking to learn and uh, and see what's out there and and what does somebody else know that that you might not know yet? Um, that's what the networking experience, you know, full circle brings. And Natasha, I appreciate your contributions tremendously to collaborate and connect. Thank you. And connect. Thank um, you. <laughs> I also want to ask um, a big part of what TTR networking does overall is is not just networking. Um, you know, communicating about uh, our, our products and services, but we're, we also wanna give back to the community around us. We also love to assist nonprofits around us. Um, they also sometimes are our uh, fellow businesses. They, they contribute to our, uh, our services and we wanna give back. We wanna make sure that they are taken care of. So. Can you share a little bit with us about those nonprofits or community organizations that you're affiliated with and what impacts mm -hmm. they have on your local community? Um, I started volunteering at Willer's Mission at the Center for Women and Children uh, back in 2010. And it's very big coincidence, but I versus me, uh, you know, cooking the food and everything. I said, what's the dirty job? What, what is the job that nobody wants to do? They said cleaning. So uh, since 2010, uh, I will take, you know, one day out of a month uh, to go to the shelter and I would clean the shelter. And I, I it's usually two to three hours. So I'll do as much as I can. There's a full-time cleaner that I don't know how she does it because it's 10 floors uh, in a gymnasium. And, uh, you, you know, every time I come in, I'm like, okay, Debbie, what, you, what do you need me to do? And she was like, oh, Tasha, can you clean all the bathrooms? Or, hey, Tasha, can you go to the, um, or to the um, donation closet and pick out all the expired foods and organize it for me? And every time they, I, they come down there, they're like, oh my goodness, you need to work for us. I'm like, no, <laughs> this is just my, you know, this is just me to pass it forward because you know, I always, I've always been that person where I always felt like I needed to give to the community personally uh, and how that transitioned business-wise has not transitioned yet uh, because the business uh, transpired um, back in 2020. So everything, all the shelters, all that was closed to the public, like uh -huh. only the people who were employed there or who needed those services were allowed in the building. So. I really 100% don't know how they were able to get through 2020, um, but a lot of the volunteers, they, they were extremely limited to, they didn't allow anyone in the building because of the pandemic. Um, but my, my goal is once everything cools down and uh, everything comes back to normal, uh, for me to continue uh, volunteering at the shelter and um, possibly you know involving uh, my partner, and once we have employees, you know, involving my employees into that, um, and um, branching off of that, uh, any really non for profit, um, I would probably stick with shelters because I, for some reason, that's just my, where my heart is at. And um, see, hey, you guys see free cleaning services once a month or once every couple months? No one's going to reject that. Right. So, <laughs> So, you know, that's where my heart is at. I just feel like helping people who are in need, people who have tough times because I've been in that position. So I know how important it is uh, to keep those facilities clean. Wonderful. I love how you use your skill set, your passion to help others, um, not just help yourself. That's yes. that's what makes the world a better place to be. Yeah, and can, can, yeah. I'm sorry, Don. Can you think about that? I mean, I like to clean, but I would love to go do something else for somebody. You know what I mean? I mean, she's going and doing what she does every day. I mean, I think, and look at that smile. She has a nice smile. She doesn't look like she's like all soured on life or anything. She's young. She's got this energy. She wants to clean. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just talking. You're right, Don. And I'm sorry. Yeah. That, that, I think that is like one of the biggest things when she was saying it, I'm like, you could, you don't have to clean for them, but they are, how blessed they are to have her cleaning for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
you know. So anyway, Don, did I cut you off? I did. Oh no, I think it's Nicole now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Natasha. That is just so awesome. Thank you. Thanks, um, Nicole. well, our viewers are probably wondering how can we find you? How can we reach you and connect with you? Um, uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Crazy Clean and Limited Services. Um, please like my page mm -hmm. and follow me. And you can also find me on Instagram, Crazy Clean and Limited Services. And I just made a TikTok. <gasps> so did. I can't wait to do some TikToking. So you awesome. can find me on TikTok as well. And also you can contact me um, on my email, which is crazy clean and limited services at gmail.com. Uh, you can also call or text the business line, which is 317-734-2334. Awesome. Thank you. And also mm -hmm. we recently learned we can find you <laughs> TTR networking. <laughs> yes. Um, and TTR networking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's so funny. <laughs> so <laughs> pointed that out to us. Yeah, we're like, oh yeah, all the time. So, ladies, have you all done TikTok? I feel like I've missed something. I I have not. My girls do. My girls do. But um, but <laughs> Professor Jim this, would like you know? to do this. <laughs> but we have um another member, <laughs> Professor Jim with Prodigy STEM, um, wants to do some TikToks. <laughs> Like, so, I, I can see you all doing it. It's like, is it the jump around and dance and stuff on like that? It's really, it's really cool because when I went on TikTok, it inspired me because I went on different cleaning pages. Oh. And it's really, really like, it's really cool how a lot of the edits are and it's very satisfying. So you should probably just, you, when you go on TikTok um, and you start looking at different businesses uh, just even cleaning is just really cool. And then like the before and after pictures, especially if it's really, really disgusting, it's so satisfying to, <laughs> to see the that. cleaning afterwards. <laughs> so. Well, you know why she cleans. She loves cleaning. It's obvious. And she must do a great job because everybody wants her to work for him. You know what, um, Natasha, we do really appreciate it. And I know Nicole or um, Dawn, do you have anything that you would add about this lovely lady before we give her the because you know her better. It sounds like you're not related to each other, are you? Just friends. We, we, we're we family because we've known each other for so long, not by blood, but um, simply. Um, okay. Yeah, I've, I've adopted her. She's family to me. Well, she's going to. She's like, I'm on, definitely. <laughs> Take it away, Don. You have something yeah. else. But, but honestly, I can, I can say, you know, when our show is called Authentic Networking, um, Natasha is a completely authentic individual oh, and you. what she comes across as, the, the words that she speaks, uh, the way that she presents is completely authentic Natasha. She does love cleaning. She does love smiling and being happy. She does love hard work. Um, she's in there and um, she inspires me. So um, I'm sure that uh, she would inspire many. Cool. Well, I figured you might have something. Well, having said all that, uh, Natasha, I mean, I know I, I've enjoyed very much getting to know you in the short time. I know we have a one-to-one -one scheduled soon. So I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to that, but now I know so much more about you. We just want to give you the last question is really, can you can you leave us with a final thought? You know, do you have anything that you would leave people? I mean, you know, what, what would you say? And it can be, it can be, you know, a couple minutes or it can be like, just real quick. It could be whatever you want. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, one thing that I want to, um, you know, just say to anyone, this can address to anyone. And um, I've been working on a project um, called I Am Enough. And that's one thing that I want to leave with every one of us saying, I am enough. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am hardworking. You know, I am intelligent. I am successful. You know, I am, um, I am going to achieve all of my dreams. It's that positive aspiration that we need to speak in ourselves every day. Because this entrepreneur, if you didn't have a gold spoon in your mouth, this is very, very challenging, but if you stay positive and you say your aspirations and you put the hard work behind it, 
people forget to say, yes, you can, you can say positive aspirations every day, but if you're not doing that hard work behind it, it's not going to get as far, but you have to be positive. You have to put in the hard work. You have, you have to accept constructive criticism. You have to be open. You have to be available. And you have to work on things that you know that you're weak in. And it has nothing to do with who's better at this, who's better at that. You are your own competition. You are competing with your past self, your formal self. So make those weaknesses into strengths. Keep those strengths, remain strengths and uh, be positive. And, you know, in regards of TTR networking, you know, it was word of mouth that got me here. And I have, you know, been able to speak about this group to several people I know. Uh, so it is getting out there on my end, but TTR networking has helped me, you know, I, my whole life I've been that person that spoke life into people that uh, held other people accountable and, I just felt really, really blessed um, for this opportunity to come in my life because now I have someone who cares about me and my and my uh, status and who's keeping accountability for um, my progress in my business. Uh, so it's now it's, it's kind of like that, you know, that relief that now it's my turn, um, you know, for someone to be there for me. And uh, I've expressed that to Don several times and my gratitude and my appreciation, you know, for her and the extension of TTR Networking, Jennifer, Nicole, um, our whole group, our 6 p.m. Tuesday group. Um, so, and I, I can't wait to meet the other members uh, just to bring that positivity in. And I'm not selling anything, you know, I'm just here saying, hey, what can I do if, if there's anything I can do? Because me meeting you, it is a reason, is a reason mm -hmm. for everything. And maybe I can get you that one sale, get you that one client that you need. And if, you know, in, 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 if our relation, if our experience meeting each other is uh, enlightening to you, you know, you may think of me when someone needs a cleaning service, mm -hmm. you know, it's just literally that entire, uh, the entire purpose of this uh, organization is collaborating collaborating connections yeah. and um <laughs> and networking and uh everything within that nature uh so um like I said I'm very I'm 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 very grateful I'm very humble and I know it takes a while for us to really um uh really um form our business is this is not a 24-hour thing it's not a year thing it's not a two-year thing this is like several years of hard work and dedication. And I'm just so happy that I'm in this group. It's diverse, it's very professional. And uh, we get conversation in there. You get, you know, you get a couple of laughs. You know, I, I like to joke around. So I like to, you know, uh, contribute to the laughs. Um, but other than that, um, I just want to leave with that positive comment, I am enough. And as long as you believe that you are, no, no one can take that away from you. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You are You're so welcome. inspiring. Um, <laughs> that is just amazing. That is, um, I love it because that's, I, well, some of us do like meditations and that's one of our meditations is I am enough. I am mm -hmm. worthy. And those aspirations they are just so phenomenal so thank mm -hmm. you those are amazing um <laughs> jennifer did you want to add anything before i You're there's good? nothing left to say <laughs> natasha <laughs> said it all she's, she's a young girl who's got it all she, she's gonna teach us all before we're done exactly yes. what we need to know but teach out some of these tiktok dances too you know that's oh, yeah. right i want to see let us know <laughs> oh, just kidding. Let us know. Actually, that's i don't scary. know what they do but if they get my knee fixed we'll be good okay go ahead <laughs> well um we are so um thankful for you being here today it, it's such mm -hmm. an honor and um we would like to thank everybody for watching us today and until next time may all your days be filled with authenticity goodbye thank you everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.